Good morning. My name is David with His Word Liz Ministry, and I want to welcome you to our Bible time and prayer time today. We're going to be looking at the Word of God in 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, and then we're going to be praying for some people that have sent in their prayer requests, and you're going to have an opportunity to help me out and show love to these people as we lift up their prayers to Jesus this morning. Let's go ahead and read our scripture in 1 John 4, 1 through 3. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in already is it in the world world. The apostle John is telling us. Beloved, the ones that have received salvation and know Jesus Christ, and at some point in our life, we've humbled ourselves before God and told him that we've made mistakes and we're sinners, and we need forgiveness, and that we believe that Jesus came down here, like it says, he came in the flesh, and he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of men's sin, if we'll believe in what he did on the cross, he'll forgive us for our sins. And we can have salvation and a relationship with God and that we experience the presence of God in our life. And we know his love and that he sent the Holy Spirit to come and live inside of us. And we are the beloved, his people, his little children. And this scripture is addressed to us, and it tells us to don't believe every person that stands up and says that he has a message from God and that he is in the Spirit. But the scripture tells us to try the spirits or to evaluate this man that says he's speaking of God. Make sure and evaluate a person that stands up and says that he's standing for God. A lot of people stand up and, and say that God has told them this or, or God has told them that. And when you listen to what they say, it's not in the Bible. God never told them that. They're trusting in themselves and their head knowledge and their interpretation, I guess, somehow of uh, and that's the spirit that they are. It's not the truth of God. It's not what the Bible says. <clears throat> God wants us to know this because there's many false prophets that are went out into the world and we're to look for the man of God that preaches and teaches and gives an understanding of the word of God, the Bible. And you know, we ought to try the spirits even more. We look at, at how this person is a Christian. We've already mentioned whether they're teaching from the Bible, but also, do they live a Christian life? Do they follow Jesus in their life, in situations? Do they pray for God to reveal to them what to do in different situations? Do they share the gospel of Jesus Christ out into the world? the Savior of all mankind. If a man believeth on him, he shall be saved. Do they do that? We need to try the spirits, try people that say that they are of God and evaluate who they are and what's in their spirit. <clears throat> Let it be known that the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, is of God. This is how we know that a man is of God. He teaches and preaches and, and goes from the Holy Scriptures and, and, and tells the truth as it's written in the Bible. And this is the truth from the Bible. 
that Jesus did come in the flesh and is of God. This is of God. <clears throat> However, in verse 3, a contrary spirit or a spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ didn't come in the flesh is not of God. And this spirit is that spirit of Antichrist or that spirit that is contrary to the word of God, that spirit that is similar to that of the Antichrist, the Antichrist being the agent, <clears throat> the agent of the devil, that Antichrist that is to come will have a spirit that's contrary to the word of God. It doesn't agree with the word of God. It's all about lifting up Satan and his ways of evil. But even now, out into the world, that spirit of Antichrist is already here. That spirit that's contrary to the ways of God that spirit of evil, self-righteousness, self-glory, selfishness, murder, the spirit of Antichrist, that spirit is already here in the world. So let us just be careful and evaluate people that stand up. Let's try their spirit and see if they really are men of God and they believe in the Bible and live a Christian life and have a testimony for living for God. <clears throat> I think we let that be our first prayer request today. Let's just praise God that we are of God, that we believe that Jesus came in the flesh, and we believe the Bible. Praise God this morning. <clears throat> I have several prayer requests I want to make mention of as we go into prayer time. I want to pray for Michael Yancey. Uh, he has enjoyed praying with the ministry, and he enjoys the prayer request. And he's been praying and lifting up and praying for you. Jim Holcomb has a prayer request. He asked for us to pray for him. This is a pastor friend of ours, and he's... Uh, taking some rest. He's just praying that God would give him some rest. He has prayer for his mother that's in the nursing home and uh, for grace and strength in her life. Don Thurman has prayer for himself. And he says, it's a blessing to listen to this ministry and pray with us. Jolene Clements has prayer for her daughter-in-law who has a kidney stone and, an, uh, and is also five months pregnant. She also has prayer for the lost people that she works with and her family. Bill Worley has prayer for himself and a Christian singing group that he's with. Well, let's lift Bill up in that group to the Lord that it all turn out for the glory of Jesus, whatever uh, comes their way and, and they're singing out into the churches. Praise God. Nina Stanley has prayer for herself. She has a t CT scan Friday. Lorinda Kim asked prayer for herself. She slipped and fell and is going to the doctor. Jesse Geis asked prayer for himself. And he says, God bless his word lives ministry. Thank you. And um, uh, he, he compliments the ministry. And we thank you for that. And, and, and praise God for people that are watching the ministry. Steve and Brenda Mosez ask prayer for their daughter-in-law, Amy Mosez, who has stage 3 T-cell lymphoma. And let's just lift up Amy to the Lord and, and ask him to help her you know, during this time and this health issue. Don Jenkins uh, praises God for all the prayer and he asks for us to pray for him. And let's lift up Don to Jesus this morning. Anthony Gallman asked prayer for himself. And he has an upcoming doctor visit. And he wants us to pray for uh, Jimmy Hales, who has cancer. So let's just lift up Jimmy this morning and Anthony to the Lord. <clears throat> Sherilyn Howard asked prayer for her sons to have a closer relationship with God and her. 
Let's lift up that prayer request of Charlene. Gary Snow asked prayer for himself, and he asked prayer for his kids, Casey that's 18 and Taylor that's 20. And he just prays for protection in this time in their lives as they're young. And there's a lot of things going on in the world. And let's pray for Gary's children this morning. Doug Bauer asked prayer for himself, his church, and he's never seen so many people incapacitated at his church. And let's just pray for all of this, that God would bless Doug's ministry. <clears throat> Betty Vining asked prayer for herself and her dad. Let's just lift up Betty to the Lord this morning. I'd like to pray for Chris and Wanda Pilares this morning. I'd like to pray for Laura Romines. Praise the Lord, she says. I'd like to pray for Ricky Smith and his ministry. Janice Verlander asked prayer for herself and a friend, Barbara Chastain, Chastain that's having health problems. <clears throat> Monica Hamilton asked prayer for herself and her women's ministry. Cindy Brooks asked prayer for an unspoken prayer request this morning. Calvin Howard says, praise the Lord and glory to God Almighty. Wayne Smith uh, praises God for another day to be here. And let's lift up all of these to Jesus this morning. And let's pray that God would bless these needs and situations. And you lift up your prayer request today. We want to pray for you and love on you some. Dear Jesus, we come to you this morning, God, and we just Pour out our love towards these, God, that have come before you and humbled themselves and lifted you up in prayer, God. And also, I just remember Jackie, Lord. She asked for us to pray for this world and the things that are in it, God, that you would make a difference in people's lives. And God, we lift up all these prayer requests in the viewers' prayer requests. God, and we just thank you and praise you, Lord, for being able to come before you as your beloved and pray to you and give you our prayer requests. And thank you for loving us and caring about us, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you.